Hey, what's up you guys? After Show Reacts here and today I'm going to be reacting to the very first episode of Doctor Who. No, this isn't a prank. This isn't April Fools. Uh, I'm actually reacting to the first season of this show. Uh, so for those of you who are unclear what I'm talking about, as an April Fools joke in 2019, um, uh, I posted a video on YouTube uh, reacting to Doctor Who, but it was actually my editor at the time, Chris. Uh, it was supposed to be an April Fool's joke. People didn't like it. The idea was that I was never going to react to Doctor Who, so might as well make an April Fool's joke out of it. People didn't like it. Um, so I don't do April Fool's jokes anymore. Flash forward to, you know, um, 2024, and it it's officially on the schedule. We're doing season one. Um, the idea was a while back, um, I did like a battle of the shows, and um, there was many different rounds, and what came up on top was Doctor Who. Doctor Who won the entire thing, um, and uh, so I wanted to put it on every like every poll going forward uh, for shows that I would react to, um, and it finally won one. Um, yeah, so I'm only committing to one season. I might do more. I might not, but um, I I. I you guys have pre-ordered season one, basically. So yeah, uh, also, I have technically kind of seen this first episode, um, as when Chris posted it, I kind of, uh, didn't watch the whole thing, but I kind of like, went through it a little bit, um, skimmed through it is the word I'm looking for, um, but that was also in 2018, and I don't really remember what happens. I think there's a mannequin in this first episode. Uh, also, just uh, out of pure like honesty to let you guys know, I have actually seen two episodes of Doctor Who, only, only two, and it's from the Matt Smith era, which is not where we are at the moment anyway, so. <laughs> um, yeah. <sighs> I think that's all the information that I need to get out there. Let's get into it. I can't believe we're doing this. Also, it's interesting that we're doing this right now when I think, I believe, the newest Doctor is just, like, the, the newest season has just started. Good timing, I guess? I don't know. Oh, I also know a little bit of the lore. I don't really know how it, like, goes together or anything like that. I know some of the lore. Because I figured this was a show that I'd never react to, so it's okay for me to kind of know the lore, but here I am reacting to it, so please don't spoil things. <laughs> I feel like she looks a little bit like she reminds me of Amber Wilson? Benson. No, Ashley Benson. Wilson, I've got the lottery money. From Great All Lies. I can't hang about because they're closing the shop. Mannequins are walking fast. <laughs> Do you need a hand? Plastic. Very clever, nice trick. Who were they then? Students. Is this a student thing or what? Why would there be students? I don't know. Well, you said it. Why students? Because to get that many people dressed up and being silly, they got to be students. That makes sense. Well done. Thanks. They're not students. Whoever they are, when Wilson finds them, he's going to call the police. Who's Wilson? Chief electrician. Wilson's dead. That's just not funny, that's sick. Hold on, mind your eyes. I've had enough of this now. Oh. Who are you again? Who's that lot down there? You go on, go on. Go and have your lovely beans on toast. Don't tell anyone about this, because if you do, you'll get them killed. I'm the doctor, by the way. What's your name? Rose. Nice to meet you, Rose. Run for your life. Oh, 
Okay. Why would it explode up there, though? Wasn't it down below? Hmm. Mum, you're such a liar. I told you to nail that cat flap down. We're gonna get straight. So did he read that? No, you thought about it. What are you doing here? I live here. Well, what'd you do that for? Because I do. I'm only home because someone blew up my job. That's got the wrong sticker. You're not plastic, mate. No. Bone it. Buy them. Inside, right now. Who is it? It's about last night. It's part of the inquiry. Give us ten minutes. She deserves compensation. Oh, we're talking millions. Um, <clears throat> I'm in my dressing gown. Yes, you are. There's a strange man in my bedroom. Yes, there is. He's not in the, your bedroom. Nothing could happen. No. We should go to the police. Seriously. Both of us. That won't last. He's gay and she's an alien. I'm not blaming you. Even if it was some sort of joke that just went mm, wrong. Sad ending. It said on the news they found a body. Rose Tyler. Oh, could have been worse. Look at no. the ears. He's just regenerated. If we are going to go to the police, I want to know what I'm saying. I want you to explain everything. Maybe not. What's that then? You got a cat? No. Oh, yeah. Mickey, just chuck that out. Where was he? Giving man a plastic hand. Anyway, I didn't even know your name. Doctor, what was it? I love that the music didn't kick in until she was in danger. There you go, you see? Armless. What do you think? Oh. I'll go to the police. I'll tell everyone. You said if I did that, I'd get people killed. So, your choice. Tell me or I'll start talking. Is that supposed to sound tough? So of? Doesn't work. Who are you? I told you, the doctor. Yeah, but doctor what? Just the doctor. The doctor. Hello. <laughs> Is that supposed to sound impressive? Sort of. Come on then. Tell me, I've seen enough. Are you the police? No, oh, I was just passing through on a long way from home. But what have I done wrong? How come those plastic things keep coming after me? Oh, suddenly the entire world revolves around you. You were just an accident. You got in the way, that's all. It tried to kill me. It was after me, not you. So what you're saying is the entire world revolves around you? Sort of, yeah. But what's wrong with it? Sort of, yeah. All this plastic stuff, who else knows about it? No one. What? You're on your own? Well, who else is there? I mean, you lot, all you do is eat chips, go to bed and watch telly. But all the time, underneath you, there's a war going on. I mean, if we're going to go with the living plastic, and I don't even believe that, but if we do, how did you kill it? The thing controlling it projects life into the arm. I cut off the signal, dead. So that's radio control? Thought control. So who's controlling it, then? Long story. But what's it all for? I mean, shop window dummies. What's that about? Is someone trying to take over Britain's shop? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, no. It's not a price war. <laughs> <laughs> they want to overthrow the human race and destroy you. Do you believe me? No. But you're still listening. Really, though, Doctor? Tell me, who are you? Do you know, like we were saying about the Earth revolving? It's like when you're a kid. The first time they tell you that the world's turning and you just can't quite believe it because everything looks like it's standing still. I can feel it. The turn of the earth. The ground beneath our feet is spinning at a thousand miles an hour. And the entire planet is hurtling around the sun at 67,000 miles an hour. And I can feel it. We're falling through space, you and me, clinging to the skin of this tiny little world and we let go. That's who I am. Now forget me, Rose Tyler. Go home. to get in the bedroom. Don't read my email. What are you going in your emails, dude? Wi 
Nathan Pierce. Who told you that? He did. That's exactly what an internet lunatic murderer would say. Hello, I've come to see Clive. He's been emailing. Dad! What are you going not to us? Hello. You must be uh, Rose. I'm Clive, uh, obviously. <laughs> I bet Terry now my boyfriend's waiting in the car just in case you're going to kill me. Oh, <laughs> no, good point. No murders. Uh, <laughs> who is it? Oh, it's uh, something to do with the doctor. He's been reading the website. Please come through. Uh, I'm in the shed. He? He's read a website about the doctor? She's a sheep. A lot of this stuff's quite sensitive. I, I couldn't just send it to you. People might intercept, uh, if, if you know what I mean. If you dig deep enough keep a lively mind. This doctor keeps cropping up all over the place. Political diaries, conspiracy theories, even ghost stories. No first name, no last name, just the doctor. Always the doctor. Uh, and the title seems to be passed down from father to son. It appears to be an inheritance. That's your doctor there, isn't it? Yeah. yeah I, I tracked it down to the Washington Public Archive just last year. Uh, the online photo's enhanced, but uh, if we look at the original, November the 22nd, 1963. The assassination of President Kennedy, see? His father. Going further back, uh, April 1912. This is a photograph of the Daniels family of Southampton and friend. This was taken the day before they were due to sail for the New World on the Titanic. For some unknown reason, they cancelled the trip and survived. Uh, and here we are, uh, 1883, another doctor. And look, the same lineage, it's identical. This one washed up on the coast of Sumatra on the very night that Krakatoa exploded. The Doctor is a legend woven throughout history. When disaster comes, he's there. He brings the storm in his wake. He has one constant companion. Who's that? Death. Oh my god. I'm... I'm... Oh my god, I remember this. Kind of. It's the bin and the mannequin. If you've seen him, Rose, then one thing's for certain. We're all in danger. And he, like, replaces the boyfriend. And I think she doesn't, I think she doesn't re realize. Like, I just, I don't know. This is all bizarre in my head. And I don't know how it goes together. Coming in. He singled you out. The doctor's making house calls. Thank God help you. Who is he? Who do you think he is? I think he's the same man. I think he's immortal. I think he's an alien from another world. You're not wrong. All right, it's a matter of his head, complete online conspiracy free. You in? Are we gonna do smoke? I fancy a pizza. 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 Or Chinese. Pizza. <laughs> like what? Like why? Why? How do you not tell? How, how can you not tell? It's all Jimmy Stones' fault. I left school because of him. Look where he ended up. How can you not tell? So where did you meet this doctor? Oh, I'm sorry. Was I talking about me for a second? Because I reckon it all started back at the shop. Am I right? Was he something to do with that? No. Come on. What was he doing there? I'm not going on about it, Mickey. Really, I'm not. I know it sounds dumb, but I don't think he's safe. He's dangerous. But you can trust me, sweetheart. Babe. Babe. Sugar. Babe. Sugar. You can tell me How can you not? Tell me about the doctor and what he's planning. Realize it's not... What I really want to do, sweetheart. Fine. Sugar. Sweetheart. What are you doing that for? Your champagne. We didn't order any champagne. Where's the doctor? Madam, your champagne. It's, it's, it's not ours. Mickey, what is it? What's wrong? I need to find out how much he knows, so where is he? Doesn't anybody want the champagne? Look, we didn't order it. Ah, oh, gotcha. Don't mind me. I'm just toasting the happy couple. On the house. Oh, dear. <laughs> Anyway. Don't think that's gonna stop me.
I like that before they showed us the inside, they showed us, like, go out and look around first. You see, the arm is too simple, but the head's perfect. I can use it to trace the signal back to the original source. The inside's bigger than the outside? Yes. It's alien. Yeah. Are you alien? Yes. Is that all right? Yeah. It's called the TARDIS, this thing. T-A-R-D-I-S. It's time and relative dimension in space. Oh, I didn't know it stood for something. <laughs> That's okay. Culture shock. Happens to the best of us. Did they kill him? Mickey. Did, did they kill Mickey? Is he dead? Oh. I didn't think of that. He's my boyfriend. You pulled off his head. They copied him and you didn't even think. And you didn't notice. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no! What are you doing? The signal, it's fake. No, 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 no! You hung out there, it's not safe! I lost the signal. I got so close! We've moved. Does it fly? Disappears there and reappears here. You wouldn't understand. But if we're somewhere else, what about that headless thing? It's still on the loose. Melted with the head. Are you gonna witter on all night? I'll have to tell his mother. Mickey, I'll have to tell his mother he's dead and you just went and forgot him again. You were right, you are alien. Look, if I did forget some kid called Mickey... Yeah, it's not it's the kid. because I'm busy trying to save the life of every stupid ape blundering about on top of this planet. All right. All right? Yes, it is. If you are an alien, how comes you sound like you're from the north? Lots of planets have a north. <laughs> What's a police public call box? It's a telephone box from the 1950s. It's a disguise. And this, this living plastic, what's it got against us? Nothing. It loves you. You've got such a good planet. Lots of smoke and oil, plenty of toxins and dioxins in the air. Perfect. Just what the nesting consciousness needs. Its food stock was destroyed in the war. All its protein planets rotted. So Earth, dinner. Any way of stopping it? Anti-plastic. 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 But first I've got to find it. How can you hide something that big in a city this small? Hold on. Hide what? The transmitter. The consciousness is controlling every single piece of plastic, so it needs a transmitter to boost the signal. What's it look like? Like a transmitter. Round and massive. Somewhere slap bang in the middle of London. A huge metal circular structure. Like a dish. Like a wheel. Radial. Close to where we're standing. It must be completely invisible. What? What? What is it? What? <laughs> Me. <laughs> Fantastic. Think of it. Plastic all over the world. Every artificial thing waiting to come alive. The shop windows, dummies, the phones, the wires, the cables. The breast implants. The consciousness must be somewhere underneath. What about down here? Looks good to me. I do not remember any of this. I remember the ridiculous boyfriend thing and that was it. Nesting conscious. She doesn't seem very phased about her boyfriend being dead, though. Plastic creature. Well then, tip in your anti-plastic and let's go. I seek audience with the nesting consciousness under peaceful contract, according to Convention 15 of the Shadow Proclamation. Thank you. If I might have permission to approach. Oh, oh he's alive. Vicky, he's me. That thing down there. The liquid rose, it can talk. Doctor, they kept him alive. Yeah, that was always a possibility. Keep him alive to maintain the copy. You knew that and you never said. Can we keep the domestics outside? Thank you. Am I addressing the consciousness? <laughs> Thank you. If I might observe, you infiltrated this civilization by means of warp shunt technology. So, may I suggest with the greatest respect that you shunt off? <laughs> Oh, don't give me that. This is an invasion, plain and simple. Don't talk about constitutional rights. <laughs> I am talking! This planet is just starting. These stupid little people have only just learned how to walk, but they're capable of so much more. I'm asking you on their behalf. Please, just go. Shut up! <laughs> I wasn't going to use it. I was not attacking you. I'm here to help. I'm not your enemy. I swear, I'm not. <laughs> Super 
superior technology. It's terrifying. It's going to the final base. It's starting the base. Get out, bro. Just calm down. Mom, where are you, Mom? I'm in town. No, he's gone. Just go Listen, I'm just gonna do a bit of late night shopping. I'll see you later. She's very annoying. <laughs> it's true. Everything I read, all the stories, it's all true. <laughs> just get out! Did you just get killed? The stairs have gone! God, let it go. You, to do. you don't know. Got no A levels. No job. No future. But I tell you what, I have got. Jump the Street Genius Court under Simmons Genetics team. I've got the bronze. You were <laughs> nesting consciousness easy. You were useless in there, you'd be dead if it wasn't for me. Yes, I would. Thank you. Right then, I'll be off. Unless, uh, I don't know, you could come with me. This box isn't just a London op, you know, it goes anywhere in the universe. Free of charge. Don't, he's an alien, he, he's a thing. He's not invited. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Stay here, fill your life with work and food and sleep, or you could go uh, anywhere. Is it always this dangerous? Yeah. Oh my yeah, god. I can't. I've um, got to go and find my mum, and someone's got to look after this stupid lump. <laughs> okay. See you around. It also travels in time. Thanks. Thanks for what? Exactly. <laughs> what a weird... Why? I'm confused by that. Oh no, I don't want to see. Nope. Nope, don't want to see what's next. Um. Hey, what's up you guys? Quick interruption here. Um, as you are no doubt aware, these past few years have been tough on all of us. Um, and there are some things that none of us can hide from. Um, the cost of living, for instance, food and things like electricity, gas and water have all gone up and they continue to go up. Um, now, I don't really like to advertise this, but in order to afford keeping the lights on, the camera running, and to be able to provide you guys with new content like this very edit for example uh, I feel I need to let you guys know about how you can help support the channel and myself I have a patreon that if you pledge to you're helping support the channel and in return you can get a vast amount of content that you wouldn't regularly get on YouTube, such as full unedited reactions to my regular content, a ton of other shows and movies that you probably don't even know that I've reacted to. A link to this can be found in the description below, and it really does help the channel by keeping me and my very cute cats alive. Think of the cats.
If you're interested, you can also check out our website, which is also linked below. Perhaps there's some shows and movies there that you didn't even know that I reacted to, but you always wanted to see. Please know, pledging is entirely your own choice, of course. You're welcome to stay here on YouTube and wait for the edits to come out. No worries, I'm not going anywhere. More edits are coming. Uh, I understand not everyone is in the position to support creators, but any help is welcome. Anyways, thank you for your continued support, whether it's through YouTube or on Patreon. You guys are the best. Now please, enjoy the rest of the video. Alrighty, well that was Doctor Who Season 1 Episode 1. I remember little bits and pieces, but it felt like a brand new episode to me to be honest. Um, yeah, um, a lot of goofy things. Uh, I guess that's what I have in store. This is 2005 after all. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing where we go from here. Um, what do you guys think? Let me know and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>